Have you ever wondered what binds the universe together at the most fundamental level? It's quantum field theory. This theory, which is a cornerstone of modern physics, gives us an account of the world that is both strange and fascinating. It tells us that every particle in the universe, from the tiniest subatomic particle to the largest galaxy, is a manifestation of underlying fields that permeate all of space. Now imagine for a moment a sea of energy filling the universe. This isn't just any sea, but a quantum sea where particles pop in and out of existence. These particles are not separate entities, but excitations of the quantum field, much like waves are excitations of the ocean. The behavior of these particles is described by a mathematical function known as a wave function. This function gives us the probability of finding a particle in a particular state at a given time. It's a bit like a weather forecast, but instead of predicting rain or shine, it predicts the likelihood of finding a particle in a particular place at a particular time. But here's the catch. Quantum field theory is incredibly complex. The mathematics involved are often so intricate that they can only be solved approximately. Moreover, the theory makes predictions that, at first glance, seem absurd. For example, it tells us that particles can be in multiple places at once, can tunnel through impenetrable barriers, and can become entangled, affecting each other instantaneously across vast distances. Yet despite its oddities and complexities, quantum field theory has been remarkably successful. It has led to the discovery of new particles, explained the behavior of black holes, and even contributed to the development of technologies like lasers and semiconductors. But there's still much we don't understand. For instance, how do these quantum fields interact with the fabric of space-time itself? And how can we reconcile quantum field theory with gravity, the other great pillar of modern physics? To answer these questions, physicists have proposed a number of theories and models. One of these is the McGinty equation, a mathematical model that combines quantum field theory with fractal geometry. Let's delve deeper into this mystery with the McGinty equation. Enter the intriguing world of the McGinty equation, a mathematical model that combines quantum field theory with fractal geometry. At the heart of this formula is a quest to account for the complexity of nature, merging the subatomic with the fractal to create a more comprehensive and nuanced understanding of our universe. The McGinty equation represents the wave function of a subatomic particle. This wave function is expressed as the sum of two terms. The first, referred to as the free quantum field theory, represents the behavior of the particle in the absence of any external influences. It's the solution to the equation that describes the quantum field when it's free to exist without any perturbations. The second term, however, brings a new twist to the equation. It accounts for the fractal deformation of the energy field, an additional piece of the puzzle that considers the perturbative effects of a fractal potential term on the free quantum field. This term is symbolized as psifractal xt dmqs. Within this term, we have parameters that represent different aspects of the particle. D stands for the fractal dimension, M for the mass, Q for the charge, and S for the spin of the particle. What makes the McGinty equation truly fascinating is how it blends the known behavior of particles described by quantum field theory with an additional term that considers the impact of fractal potential. This combination results in a more complex, yet potentially more accurate, model of the quantum world. But what does this mean in practical terms? The McGinty equation offers a fresh approach to solving quantum mechanical problems, incorporating fractal geometry to provide a more accurate description of complex systems. It holds the potential to offer new insights into their behavior. However, it's crucial to remember that the McGinty equation is still a theoretical concept. It requires further research and experimentation to fully grasp its possibilities and constraints. Ready to break down these components further? Stay tuned. Scene script, time to dissect the McGinty equation and understand what each term signifies. Let's start with the wave function of a subatomic particle represented by P says T. 
This function describes the quantum state of a particle at any given time and place. It's what quantum field theory, or QFT, uses to model the behavior of subatomic particles. Next we have PSQFT XXT. This is the solution of the free quantum field theory, which captures the behavior of the particle in the absence of any external influences. Think of it as the particle's default state, unaffected by any external factors. But in the real world, particles aren't isolated. They interact with their surroundings, and these interactions can deform the energy field in complex ways. The McGinty equation accounts for this by introducing an additional term, pes fractal XTT DMQs, which represents the fractal deformation of the energy field. The parameters D, M, Q and S in PIS fractal X, T, D, M, Q, S each have a specific meaning. D stands for the fractal dimension, a measure of how complex the fractal deformation of the energy field is. The mass of the particle is represented by M, while Q, Q stands for its charge. The spin of the particle is denoted by S. Now let's delve into PIS fractal X, T, D, M, Q, Q, S a bit more. This term is derived from an integral equation which involves a Green's function of the free quantum field theory and a fractal potential term. The fractal potential term is assumed to have a self-similar fractal structure, which can be captured by a power law function. From this point, the derivation of PS fractal TDMQS involves some mathematical heavy lifting using techniques such as substitution, the convolution theorem and the Laplace transform. The end result is a self-consistent equation for fractal XTDMQS, which describes the perturbative corrections to the free quantum field due to the fractal potential term. The McGinty equation thus combines the known behavior of particles described by quantum field theory with an additional term that accounts for the complex interactions between particles and their environment. This makes it a powerful tool for modeling quantum systems as it captures the complexity of the real world in a mathematically rigorous way. But what makes the McGinty equation truly fascinating is its use of fractal geometry. By incorporating fractal deformations into the wave function, it provides a more accurate description of the behavior of subatomic particles. This opens up new avenues for understanding and predicting the behavior of complex systems. However, it's important to bear in mind that the McGinty equation is still a theoretical concept. While it offers a promising approach to tackling quantum mechanical problems, it requires further research and experimentation to fully explore its potential and limitations. Now that we understand the components, how do they all come together? Mathematics is the language of the universe. Let's use it to decode the McGinty equation. The McGinty equation models the behavior of quantum fields. It's a combination of the known behavior of particles described by quantum field theory and an additional term that accounts for the fractal deformation of the energy field. This equation is expressed as PES XT equal sign PES QQF to XT plus PES fractal XT DMQs. PES XT is the wave function of a subatomic particle. PES QFT XT is the solution of the free quantum field theory. And PES fractal XT DMQQS is the additional term in the wave function. The parameters D, M, Q and S represent the fractal dimension, mass, charge and spin of the particle respectively. Now let's delve into the derivation of the fractal correction term, PS fractal X, T, D, M, Q, S. We start with an integral equation. The fractal potential term V, Y, T can be written as V0, Y slash L circumflex S, where V0 is a constant, L is a characteristic length scale and s is the fractal dimension. Substituting this into the integral equation and using the convolution theorem, we get another version of the equation. We let rr equal sign x, y slash l and t equal sign tt, turning our equation into pis fractal to dmqs equal sign ih bar v0 l circumflex sr circumflex sgrlt pis fractal x rlt t dmqs r circumflex d1 dr dt where d is the spatial dimension. This integral equation can be solved using the Laplace transform technique. After taking the Laplace transform of both sides, we get fractal xs dmqs equal sign i h bar v0 l circumflex ss circumflex qfq ss dmqs piece fractal xq s dmqs tqds 
where FQS DMQS is the Laplace transform of R circumflex SGRLT. Substituting FQS DMQS and solving the integral, we obtain the final form of the McGuinty equation. This equation is a self-consistent equation for the fractal correction term pis fractal x to dmqs. It describes the perturbative corrections to the free quantum field due to the fractal potential term and is valid for self-similar fractal structures with the fractal dimension es, where v0, l, d, m and q are constants. The McGuinty equation provides a more accurate description of complex systems and has the potential to offer new insights into their behavior. It's a novel approach to solving quantum mechanical problems by incorporating fractal geometry. However, it's important to remember that the McGuinty equation is still a theoretical concept and requires further research and experimentation to fully understand its potential and limitations. With this, we've decoded the mathematical formulation of the McGuinty equation. The McGuinty equation isn't just an abstract concept. It has some fascinating potential applications. This equation, by incorporating the concepts of fractal geometry into quantum field theory, has the potential to revolutionize our understanding of the universe at its most fundamental level. For instance, the McGuinty equation could provide a more accurate description of complex systems. This includes everything from subatomic particles to black holes. The equation's ability to account for fractal deformation of the energy field might offer new insights into the behavior of these systems, potentially solving some long-standing puzzles in theoretical physics. Moreover, the McGuinty equation might have a significant impact on quantum computing. As quantum computers operate on the principles of quantum mechanics, a more accurate mathematical model like the McGuinty equation could lead to advancements in this cutting-edge technology. It might allow us to design more efficient quantum algorithms, leading to faster and more powerful quantum computers. Furthermore, the McGuinty equation could also play a role in the development of quantum communication systems. By providing a better understanding of quantum fields, the equation could help us develop more secure and efficient quantum communication networks, enhancing our ability to transmit information over vast distances without the fear of interception. In the realm of cosmology, the McGuinty equation might offer a fresh perspective on the nature of the universe. By modeling the behavior of quantum fields more accurately, it could potentially shed light on the mysteries of dark matter and dark energy, two of the biggest enigmas in modern cosmology. And let's not forget about the potential applications in the field of material science. The McGuinty equation could help us understand the quantum behavior of materials at the atomic level, leading to the discovery of new materials with unique properties. However, every theory has its limitations. Like all scientific theories, the McGuinty equation has its limitations. In its current form, the McGuinty equation is a theoretical concept. It's a mathematical model that combines the known behavior of particles described by quantum field theory with an additional term that considers the perturbative effects of a fractal potential term on the free quantum field. While it offers a novel approach to solving quantum mechanical problems by incorporating fractal geometry, it's important to underscore that it is still a theory. One of the major limitations of the McGuinty equation is its need for further empirical validation. Theoretical physics is a wonderful field, but without experimental evidence to back it up, a theory remains just that, a theory. To date, there is limited experimental data that directly supports the fractal deformation of the energy field as posited by the McGuinty equation. This lack of empirical evidence is a significant hurdle that needs to be overcome. Furthermore, the equation's reliance on parameters such as the fractal dimension, mass, charge and spin of the particle, as well as the constant values of V0, L, D, M and Q, adds complexity to its application. Determining these values accurately for a given system can be a challenging task. This added complication can make it difficult to apply the McGuinty equation to real-world problems. But remember, limitations are not dead ends. They are merely challenges that need to be addressed. The beauty of science is that it is a constant journey of discovery and improvement. The future of the McGuinty equation lies in the hands of researchers who are willing to challenge its limitations and push the boundaries of our understanding.
There are several potential future developments in this field. One of the most exciting prospects is the use of advanced computational techniques to solve the McGinty equation for complex systems. Advances in quantum computing could potentially offer a way to tackle the computational challenges associated with the equation. Additionally, there is potential for the McGinty equation to be extended beyond its current form. For instance, incorporating elements of other theories, such as string theory or loop quantum gravity, could potentially enhance the predictive power of the McGinty equation. Finally, we must not overlook the potential for breakthroughs in experimental physics. As new technologies are developed and our ability to observe and measure the quantum world improves, we may find empirical evidence that supports the fractal deformation of the energy field, thereby validating the McGinty equation. As we continue to explore the universe, the McGinty equation might just hold the key to unlocking new secrets. And as we strive to understand the world around us, we must continue to question, to explore and to innovate. For in the world of physics, as in life, there is always more to discover.